Florida pastor Bill Lytell went on an openly sexist rant. Let's listen. I, I just knew, I, I told him, I said, I bet they go out there and film that sign, male leadership, and that's going to go out throughout the whole county. Do you know what we'd have had to pay to do something like that? That was probably a $100,000 gift. I'm not going to thank the person that left the weapon, however. It just ended. God had mercy on that whole deal. But Male leadership, don't you be ashamed. You go to a church with male leadership. We, every church that's right with God ought to have a sign, male leadership, because that's the only kind of leadership, both from Adam all the way to the last part of the Bible. It's all been male. This is a man's world. And all the men said, get up. There aren't many places that men can even rejoice anymore without feeling about half ashamed because they try to put you down or sue you or something. But brother, this is a man's world. You can say what you want, you can do what you want, but God made Adam in leadership and it's going to end with a man in leadership. It doesn't make men better, it just makes, it's God's way. Amen. You know, oftentimes when we talk about issues involving sexism, you have people who 100% jump immediately on the side of, it's not sexism, it's never sexism, sexism is not what it used to be, it's different now, there's not much sexism going around. Blah, 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 blah. No, but I, how is there any other interpretation of this? The guy said, quote, male leadership is the only kind of leadership that matters. This is a man's world. He's saying, women, know your fucking place, a man's role is to lead, and that's the end of the conversation. What a blithering idiot, man. Why, why, why can women never lead, lead ever? Because you say so? Oh, it's inherent in their nature. They're followers. They're not leaders. Uh, uh, motherfucker, I'd pick pretty much any woman in existence except Ann Coulter to lead other than you because I could tell you're not all that bright just based off that rant there. See, you got to understand, man, like my mom, for example, my mom and dad split up. They got a divorce when I was young. My mom went back to work, worked full time, raised and took care of me and my sister. Now, granted, we weren't struggling. We were upper middle class. But she did have to go back to her job as a physical therapist to earn enough money for us to stay in the house that we grew up in, which she thought was very important for stability for, for me and for my sister, and it was. So she sacrificed a lot, and she busted her ass, and she was always there for us. She always cooked for us. She always took care of us. She always helped us with our homework. And at the same time, working and doing the shopping for the house and everything else. So when I think of leadership, all I think about is a woman. I know men can lead too, of course. But I know personally that women have the ability, and they do it great. So when an idiot like this makes an argument like that, based off of his religion, which is 100% made up, it makes me want to tell him to fuck off because he's a dumbass. So guess what? This guy should fuck off because he is a dumbass.